Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment. Well, in this video, we'll see how to use that sum if function of Excel based on criteria that function will add specific rows and cells. So let us see it in the computer itself. So as you can see, friends, uh, this is my Excel sheet. There are some rows called black, yellow, black, yellow. Deliberately, I have put it alternatingly. So here, what I want to see is that uh, the quantity of black I want to find out, the total quantity, as well as the total quantity of yellow. So what I'll do here is I'll just, uh, for example, I'll just write black here, black, and here, yellow. Total quantity total quantity so here in the cell what i'll do i'll use the sum if function i'll just write is equal to here before any formula you have to put is equal to and write sum if S -U -M, sum if you can see there is sum if here i'll double click here once i do that it will show me the there are like three uh, things over here like range criteria and sum range so what i'll do for range range means the range where i'll find the criteria so I'll click here range uh, I'll just select the range now because it is already highlighted in this range I'll ignore the header here because mostly the header uh, gives the wrong answer I'll only select that many rows uh, where I'll find the criteria well my criteria here is black or yellow so I'll choose the range which contains either black or yellow so I'll choose this portion only and then criteria criteria for example black means I'll choose this a2 I'll choose here sorry this range i have chosen then i have to put comma then i can go to criteria criteria is black so i'll just click here black then the sum range so the sum quantity will be found from this column only so i'll choose this column for sum range so i'll then press enter once i do that you can see uh, this i'll just increase the font size so that you can uh, it will be visible to you more clearly yeah so as you can see it is showing eight uh, let us count black one three four 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 eight so it has counted properly so you can see the same thing i'll do it for yellow as well once again for a practice uh, equal to sum if sum if i if sum if and double click here as i said you find the range where the criteria is available the criteria is available here for example if i take uh, include the header let us see what happens uh, i'm sure it will give you the wrong answer i'll choose the header here and choose this criteria then comma criteria is yellow here i'll choose yellow you can choose any yellow here it doesn't mean that only you have to choose the first yellow of row 3 which is present in row 3 you can choose this one also row 7 also i'll click here yellow I'll press comma here once again and for example I deliberately choose not the header here only this one so let's see what's the answer I have chosen this enter once I do it is showing 7 let us count 2 plus 5 it's 7 plus 9 it should have come uh, 16 instead of that it is coming 7 so as I've said you if you are choosing the header you have to maybe choose it completely if you're choosing different rows in a sum range as well as range it will give you the wrong answer i'll choose the whole thing here once i press enter it's coming 16. so as you can see you have to choose a uh, range as well as sum range equal means if you are including header here you have to include header there also so friend this is how you use sum if function uh, well basically the sum if function is as you've understood you sum it if there is some criteria so here the criteria was the color either black or yellow so you counted only the black portion in one row or the yellow portion in another row so this is how you use the sum if criteria well friends that's it in this video i hope you found this video useful how to sum uh, based on a specific criteria if you found this video useful please like this video and please share this video across various platforms so that many people come to know of this uh, formula how to use this very uh, useful formula in excel and please do subscribe to this channel infotainment for getting more of such little little technical videos to make your digital life simpler and easier so till our next video keep watching infotainment thank you